Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Odir, aka the OVU, back again with another video. And DC fans are kind of winning on this one because it was just announced that we're actually getting a live action Teen Titans movie set in the new James Gunn's DCU. And I got a lot of thoughts about this one, so hear me out on this. If you were a kid from the early 2000s, you saw that Cartoon Network had a number of DC television programs back in the day. And one specific one that everybody knows and is still kind of going on to this day is Teen Titans. The original and Teen Titans Go that's currently on Cartoon Network, which they got over 11 seasons, man. And I'm still not trying to binge all those stuff because I see what they're doing in the, right now. And I'm like, you're literally teaching kids banking? That's interesting. But with the live action side of it, we almost had a perfect adaptation of the Teen Titans. But TNT had a thing when in Deal with the CW, they wanted to do their own version of a Teen Titans show until... When the DC Universe app was made, they actually announced a live-action Teen Titans show, but the show we got, for season one at least, I could say, what type of direction are you doing with these characters? It didn't make sense for what it was, but as the series went forward, I actually kind of liked what they did for the limited amount of resources they had, because they could reference the whole DC Universe. The problem was, it wasn't set around the CW era characters, it was in another version of the multiverse. And I gotta say, even though it wasn't crossing over with the CW characters, it was nice enough to at least get it some adaptation of characters like Superboy, Wonder Girl, Crypto, even Tim Drake Robin, because we haven't even seen a live action Tim Drake done on the big screen just yet. For what they have set up in this new DCU as of now, because Superman just started filming, we're getting Creature Commandos later in the fall. All I can say is that without a doubt, and what I'm assuming is that all these DC characters live within the same world as in any character that's not Superman already exists. We have a Batman out there. We have a Wonder Woman Flash. We already have an established Guy Gardner Green Lantern. So that does mean that Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart are still out there in Sector 21814. So that tells me this. We already have a team of characters already established. And that does mean the it doesn't mean that the main line of characters, like the ones I already know, like the lineup I knew when I was um at least six till now was always Robin, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and Cyborg. The original version of the Teen Titans were composed of Robin, Wonder Girl, Aqualad, uh, Speedy, and Bumblebee. Sometimes I want to add a little bit of Starfire in the mix because she was introduced around that time. But the way I see it now is that we're actually going to get sidekicks mainly, like Young Justice as in a way. But I don't think that they're going to adapt those five characters exactly. I'm excited for it, but it also gives a chance for another returning character, which Zola Maridueña played Blue Beetle in the current um, DCU movie. But who knows if that movie's canon because James Gunn did say anything before Superman is canon or isn't canon. I don't know. He makes it to a way where they can play the same characters, but that doesn't mean you have to watch their movies to understand what's going on with the, the universe. For the characters I would like in a lineup, I already have like my main five. Like I can actually kind of pull this one off in this channel for the first time. My actual fan castings for these characters because I'm just going to start with the main line of characters I grew up with. And it's basically Robin, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and Cyborg. The only ones I actually have fan casted in my mind right now, and like it or not, it's fun to at least poke some fun at what characters I would cast for them. Starting with Robin, we already had Nightwing in the Titans TV show, but that doesn't mean we're actually going to get Robin for this universe because we have Damien around this time, so that does mean he's going to be a bit more older, so I'm guessing either my first original pick before the whole reboot, Dylan O'Brien, but I feel like he's a bit too old to play the role now. And with current younger day actors, I got to think who is good enough to play Dick Grayson or at least has the spark to actually do it. And I actually thought about Paul Atreides himself, Timothy Chalamet. Him, I could see playing a super at some point. I was thinking he might be a Cyclops in some point during the X-Men if they try to redo it with a younger cast. I'm like, OK, I could see you as Cyclops, but I don't know if I really put you in a skin tight mask. I could actually see only your eyes. And I'm like, nah. With everything I've seen in Dune, I could see you pull off Nightwing perfectly. For Starfire, it to me, the purpose with Starfire, I gotta say, she's an alien, and I gotta at least acknowledge this because everybody said this before about Ana Diaz's portrayal, is that Starfire can portray any race, white, black, Hispanic, Indian. It doesn't matter to me, but all I can say is that if the character actually is faithful to the adaptation, doesn't mean the character's done right because I don't get that point of people saying, oh, Ana Diaz, she wasn't Starfire for season one at least. I didn't like her portrayal in season one, but later as the show went on, they actually gave her a lot to do. And she actually did portray Starfire very well, even Blackfire. But um, for who I want to cast as Starfire, I'd actually want to go to another movie that just came up earlier, Mean Girls. One of the plastics actually caught my mind. I'm like, huh, something about you and the way you act is kind of ditzy. 
and it's um i can't pronounce her name right but i think i might aventika vanda pow i might be pronouncing it wrong but it's the first time i actually pronouncing her name out loud she played karen in mean girls and i'm like huh something about you feels like you can portray ditzy but that doesn't mean you could actually be smart at the same time and i'm like you got almost a bit of a starfire ish look all i'm seeing is a bit of red hair but besides that i can see her a starfire one of the easy in casting choices for raven i gotta say jen ortega just because i just she looks a bit more goth like and also with wednesday kind of helping it out too I did kind of get to see her in gray when she was in the dream sequences, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know why. I feel like you could actually portray Raven before when the TV show was going around. I actually thought about Avery Plaza playing Raven, and I'm like, no disrespect. She's still fine, but she's a bit too old now to play Raven, but I'm like, if we're going to go younger. You might as well just get her now in the DCU because Marvel might catch her at some point. Hopefully, they can get her to, to play Raven in this. I looked over at Netflix and actually thought about Inyaki Godoy from One Piece. And actually, looking at him now, I'm like, huh, you can play Beast Boy. You can actually portray the fun aspect of him. But also, he can portray emotion when he needs to because, like it or not, even though he wasn't as Luffy enough in the car in the live-action One Piece, I liked him for what he did. And I'm like, huh, I can see it. I don't know what in me can. But also, all in association, he's also friends with Zola Maridonia. So I'm like, huh, it'd be kind of funny to see those two actually interact because I'm like, huh, Cobra Kai in One Piece. Never thought I'd see the day. For Cyborg, I'd like to conclude this with Michael Rainey Jr. I gotta say, I've seen him in power, and for, I gotta say, huh, he could have been Miles Morales if they actually cast it a bit more younger back in the day, but I'm like, nah, you got the height, you got the stature, and you're basically taller than all the people I stated in this cast, so I'm like, yep, you can do Cyborg. Those are my thoughts. Those are my fan castings for the Teen Titans if they're gonna go with this team portrayal. If not, they choose somebody else. I gotta say, without a doubt, if they're gonna actually do the Titans justice, hopefully we can actually do right with getting Deathstroke on the big screen again. It might not be Joel Maganiello from the original DCEU, but hopefully they could actually get somebody menacing because the dude on the TV series, damn, I love them as Deathstroke, but I gotta see somebody actually portray that type of fear. And also, if you think about it, he might go up against Batman because you do know he has Damien by his side, and who knows if the League of Assassins are gonna play a role in that. Do you agree with my choices? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.